several others stayed behind, preparing for a trip overseas to work on a special project. WMDT's Cody Leibowitz joins us now live at SU with the details. Cody? Good evening, David. Three students are currently working on a documentary as a part of their graduate-level program right here at Salisbury University. Now, they tell me that they ultimately want to tell the story of a former Liberian child soldier, one who endured hardships and overcame struggles. They tell me they were so moved by his story, they felt the need to go to his homeland and tell more. Three Salisbury University graduate students are finishing up prep work for their documentary. In just three weeks, they'll be crossing the Atlantic, headed for Africa. We know that this rain is going to be rugged. Producer Martin Jones says the idea started in September when Charles Ronto, a former child soldier, spoke at SU. Jones later sat down with Ronto, who told him his story of survival and goal to build a new school in Liberia. I made a promise to Charles that I would help him go back and find his family and document this so that he could now move forward with the real work of getting the school uh, finished. And I believe we're going to get there. Well, we cannot get it when we divide it. We want to make sure that we do justice to actually everything that he's been through. Now Jones and his crew await a January 6th flight to Liberia. But the 10-day trip isn't as simple as just packing and boarding. Photographer Jordan Johnson says right now they're working on clearance with the United States Embassy. Next up, funding. The trip will cost $15,000. The group has already applied for $3,000 worth of grants through the university and launched efforts through Kickstarter. We'd like to make it um, beyond just three students. We want to make it beyond just Salisbury University. Uh, if we can make it a, a Maryland thing, that'd be great. Now, Martin tells me he's already secured about $3,000. Now, he's just waiting to hear back from the university to see if they will offer him the additional $3,000 in grants and to see if he can take those cameras overseas with him on his trip. But, David, this team is so determined to tell the story of Veronto to tell his tale that they're willing to shell out the additional $12,000 out of their own pockets. Reporting live in Salisbury, Cody Leibowitz, WMDT 47 News. All right, thank you, Cody. And SU officials told us that at this time, the project is not funded by the university, and they are currently looking over the group's proposals to see if that, in fact, would be an option at some point. Well, if you're in charge of naming a zoo animal, what would you go with? I suppose it kind of depends on the animal.